Selamat pagi. Good morning everybody. Today I've got a few things which is called Life Smart accessories. On the left we have this LED strip and then on the this one is an LED bulb and the next one is this weird looking bowl that can act as an IR remote control. And then next to make the whole thing work is this mini smart alarm it has a speaker for doorbells and alarms for example and uh, it also works as a gateway to connect all the other accessories together so let's take a look inside upon opening the box here we can see there is a protective uh, paper and then there is this gateway itself it is called a smart alarm and it has this holes for a speaker and then the paper works we don't need this uh, next is the LED bulb. If you see the specification here, it has 6 watts of power and it has 16 million, I mean, yeah right, 16 million colors. So it's an RGB color. Even though in real practice, I doubt it'll be 16 million for real. Alright, this is really light. Hmm, it has this E27 connector and it looks like this. It's really good. And inside the box, we've got nothing more than the paper, as usual, we throw that. And the box, we throw that too. Next, let's take this bowl over here. It has this design, so that you can put things inside, for example, key, like that. And it has this RGB lighting, so it can act as your nightstand. But the unique feature of this thing is that it acts as a remote control, an infrared remote control. So it has an infrared blaster inside, and it can control things like TVs, I don't know, ACs or fans, all the things you can control with your remote if they don't have it in their library, and you can teach it how to do it with your remote itself. So you can teach these things. So yeah, it is called SPOT, S-P-O-T, and it's a universal remote controller, right? This is the depth of it. It's not really deep and yeah, the texture is nice. Next is this USB port out for charging. And this is for the power itself. And that pairing button is there. All right. It has a very minimal branding. It's really nice to see it really minimalistic. Inside, we don't get anything other than a pretty long USB cable. It's a micro USB cable, put it there. And this paper, pretty big one, showing you how to pair it with your application. Put that aside. And next, finally, is this LED strip. It is more or less much like the Philips Hue light strip, but cost way less, which makes it a really good option. It also works with Siri and HomeKit. We'll talk about that later. So let's open it. All right, as we open the box, we'll get a LED strip, this cable, and then the below compartment that holds the AC adapter. And then the controller, you see it's a light strip controller. It can be connected into two LED strip, and then you can use this pairing button to pair it to the gateway. It is connected like this way, and you can cut it at this point so you can adjust the LED strip to your liking. Unboxing, done. Let's test it. All right, so you grab this Life Smart app from the App Store and you will be greeted with this page. Usually it loads something, but it hasn't. And you'll have to register an account, so you sign up. But in my case, I logged in. All right, so after you log in, the app will restart and it will show nothing actually these are the things that i've named i've registered like the remote controls here for my ac and the lamps the gateway is here and the light strip is here how you're gonna add devices is you press the plus button on the top right and then you just click on add device and then you search your 
things here for example you will add like a light strip here and then just follow the instruction and you'll get to pairing in no time and it's really easy but sometimes like I just have the problem with this spot lighting because it connects to your Wi-Fi directly it doesn't connect to this gateway so Sometimes when your Wi-Fi is down, you have to let a bit of time to let them reconnect to each other. Then for the spot, for example, you can add like a... There are a bunch of uh, presets for remote controls here, which are always updated. But my AC is not working in this part. But I've tried it in my friend's room and it works really well. So if you cannot find your remote, you can click on customize in this part and you assign like each button and start learning you press your button and then the button will be registered here just like we see here this is my AC click on that and I've registered like on off buttons and uh, whatever is there and we'll check that out later and I've also bought like this motion detector it also detects not only motion but this brightness level so in my case like I assign this motion sensor like if it detects motion it will just automatically turn on you go to the lamp and you press that on the top right you set trigger and this triggers is where you set the automations for example what I use here is when motion is detected in my bathroom it will perform this action it will turn it on and you can set it to like a set to whatever color you want and then after this delay when it doesn't detect any motion it will turn off or do whatever you want so that's pretty much the basics of this app but we are not going to use this app that often as this lie smart thing is compatible with HomeKit if you want to register this to the home app you gotta like press in this one tap on all devices and then tap on the first thing and then you'll see the setting for HomeKit it's in beta though and then you click on it turn it on you put in your ID password and this code will show up this code is what you will use later in the home app tap plus and then you will add an accessory tap on this one and then you tap on this enter manual code you put your code in here it will register all your accessories connected to that gateway so this is where the magic starts we can control it from this app, you can control it from the widget, which you can set up these scenes to control a group of accessories or even the accessories itself. So I've divided these things to rooms and um, we've got the remote control for my AC over here. We've got this uh, lamps over here. And if you long press it or 3D touch it on an iPhone that supports it, you can control like the brightness, the color over here and more colors and temperatures like that and also you can see the details of it you can add it include it in the favorites so you can access it via control center or whatnot and uh, you will have you can assign it to the room but it says like this accessory is not certified but as of now i've used it for about a month now like it's been really great like um they occasionally give like a few software updates to the gateway. There were a few hiccups before the updates, but right now it's been really great. So without further ado, let's go try it out. Hey Siri, turn bed light on. Hey Siri, turn the AC on. AC on, coming right up. Hey Siri, turn the fan on. Okay, the fan is- Hey Siri, turn the AC off. Anything for you, Kenneth. Hey Siri, good night. Okay, good night enabled. Calling it a night. Hey Siri, make it blue. Blue, I'm on it. Hey Siri. Turn everything off. Okay, they are off. 